Hey guys, Infidel1258 here. Today I'm going to do my guild brawls battles. And I just wanted to share this with you because I've got kind of a new attitude around how important these are. And time and attention has been really kicking butt. We have two guilds in the top 40. Um, time and attention one is 37 uh, at, with an arena level three, I think. And time and attention seven is actually, I think, 39 or something like that. 38 or 39. Um, so two very competitive guilds out of our seven uh, guilds that we've got and others that are really strong too, but top 100, but I mean, um, top 40, I feel like is very impressive. So I'm being extra intentional around these battles. And I think you guys are going to want to be also because, um, because we know that we're going to be getting SPS rewards from this part of the game very soon. And with that in mind, this is a whole other game. This is a totally different game within the game. Um, yeah, it's kind of like rank battles, but there's there's such a sophistication to it because there are different you might not know there are different kind of rules that that play out because of the buildings that are available. Yeah, the barracks, the barracks level that you you your your guild has has implications on what your opponent can do. So check this out for the home team wins when there is a draw. If you have the level one, level two, I guess unlocks can use gladiator cards at the bronze level cap level uh three of this of this um building allows you to banish one monster and so we've 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 banished somebody over here you can see that and then level four gives gives your team uh an extra mana cap to work with for all your guild brawl battles so the higher you get this thing the more advantages you get and this it changes a lot about how the game the battles end up looking and so it's a totally different experience. There's also gladiators in this thing. There's also this intentional like timing around when the battles occur. So you know that when once a guild once a guild brawl begins, you choose a fray. And now I'm competing at the gold league level with gold cards only. And I have a pretty decent gold deck. Like I have three or four splinters. I have death life water and dragon all capable of playing at gold or even diamond with gold cards alone that's a strong gold deck now it's mostly modern cards so this could be a challenge i suspect some of my opponents will be among the better teams in the league right we'll see as i enter these battles we're going to see who i'm faced up against but it's just this is all stuff you're going to want more experience with because this is going to start paying real world rewards um, SPS tokens for each win, not to mention your own guild will climb and like we're trying to do with time and attention, really making it become a center stage and, and, and be one of the most successful guilds. That's going to be something that your guild, if you're in a guild or guilds that you one day will be a part of, are going to be trying to buy for. And so this is important stuff. So without further ado, let's get into some of these battles. There's more to say about what I'm doing to prepare and how serious I'm taking this stuff. But um, let's let's carry with the conversation as we go forward. The battle is being hosted by YGG Dragons. Okay. So they've banished uh, Obsidian, which is okay because I don't I'm not playing Obsidian. And they have the advantage of the of if we draw they will win. Um, we can see that they have a level five arena and a level three barracks. A level five arena, good for you guys. That's a high arena. Level three barracks. We have a level four barracks and a level three arena. I think. Okay, so Mega. Mega Bloop, he's got 2.3 million power. That's something like a little bit less than me, but I don't know, maybe he's a gold card focused. Okay, we got the Holy Protection, we got the Odd Ones Only. I gotta be quick here, I've already wasted 45 seconds just introing. And then one of the keys is that we rent some really important cards. With this sort of rule set, with this with this amount of damage, or sort of mana, I definitely am gonna do Dar Daria Dragon Scale. And then some of my better magic monsters are on the blue team, but, but they're not available. I'm gonna quickly have a peek. I don't like that, so I'm going to back out and go Daria. See, what I did was I, I select magic and then I back out and I just kind of decide, okay, this could be a maybe. This could be a maybe because I got four strong monsters there. I'm going to quickly come back to that. I got one minute left. Check out the life. No, I don't. Even though he's got triage, I don't like that. Two triages could be interesting, but nope. Um, and one last one, death. No, we're going to go. It was Daria and then we're going to go earth. We're going to definitely do the taunt. We got the phase, boom, 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 and then drop a triage in there. And then can we pull out, what else we got in here? This could be good. 
I don't think I have another triage. But I gotta I gotta check. No, I don't. Okay, I got 30 seconds left. It might pay to put out another tank. So this is kind of where I'm leaning. Put a bit more damage up front. But this is tempting because he's probably gonna do a taunt also. Hmm. Yep, I think this is the play. Gem Meteor is the alternative. If I had another triage, I'd probably do it. If I had a heal, I'd probably do it, but uh, this is going to be what I submit. Now, oh, we actually get to watch the battle. That's not necessarily common because your team, you get to, just like a tournament in brawls, you submit your team whenever you submit your team and your opponent submits whenever they submit. And so he's got the, I don't understand what this is about. So he's put, he, we, ha we all have Divine Shield. He's got a Resurrect and a Heal. He's got one, two Scatter Shots. He didn't bring any Taunt. He's got his Sneak Attack. My Taunt is not going to distract these two. I don't know. I mean, he's got Void Armor is one of the problems, and he's going to Repair. But I am going to do a fair bit of damage. And Void Armor doesn't diminish my output. It's not like he has Void. Yes, he's got repair. Yes, he's got a lot of armor. I just don't know. I, d I think it depends where these land. And it depends if we kill the Uriel before the Uriel hits his second, his, his on the second turn. If I can per kill him before he does his attack, then when he spawns, he'll need another two turns to get a trigger a second attack. This could be a problem for him. This might been, might have been a mistake. Let's find out. If I win, it's going to come down to whether the Uriel dropped his dropped that nuke of a, of a blow or not. The two damage being put out by Pelicor Mercenary is actually turning out to be really helpful. The one armor is going to prevent him from really going nuclear on my Pelicor, which is great. And see, we killed him before he fired. Now he's going to spawn and he needs to do a whole new refresh. My triage is really helping with my, with my Pelicor Mercenary. Or my with my slip spawn, that one of those one of those archery monsters got through and killed one of my. But I think we're good now. We got through his resurrect. We got through the meat of his batting order. We have three main tanks in front. Unless they really go, if one of those scatter shots kills my spirit hoarder, that'd be annoying. But still, at this point, I think it's over. Yeah, now it's definitely over. So the legionnaire was probably what cost him because if he had extra damage in the back that might have been enough to take me out now he might not have had any extra cards right sure he could he might have been expecting a sneak play but here's the thing i don't know i mean i just can't i don't i don't with a 46 mana match i just don't think that's the play obviously it wasn't and that's a huge win guys that's a gigantic win every single win means so much in brawls when you're trying to get the top 30 of the of the of the league i'm super pumped that i got that win um that was huge and so the next one's a home battle and again we don't know if it's going to be a live match because we don't know if my opponent's even here ula ocean is literally one of the best players in the game he's got 14 million power he constantly i think he plays a gold or wherever he plays gold silver he's always in the leaderboard i forget where it is it might be i think it's gold so it's I'm this is my home match. We're banishing Yoden, which is great because fire is available. Now the mana caps probably would have already in some sense banished Yoden, but maybe not. Okay, he's got Arena 5 and Barracks 4. Hmm. No summoner spe specials and Okay. Okay, I don't really know where I want to go with this. Obviously, it doesn't really matter if I do Delwyn. Tempted to go. Go dragon just because with dra that unlocks more monsters. Hmm. Hmm. I 
don't know about this already. So yeah, I'm doing like a fair bit of damage with two with two archers that are doing two damage each. But I hmm, feel like this might be a better play than say Igor's got five hit points. Yeah. We go maybe like that, and then he's gonna come in by the time he gets to the front, he'll have some hit points to work with. And maybe I take out the lurker, even the lurker's strong, of course. And just go give myself a bit more archery damage. This is Sorry about that, guys. Somebody ringing the doorbell. Okay, I'm going to go check on the... Let's see. Strong team with that Medica. You got to be worried for sure. He, that's going to be a real problem for me. And he's got the slow. He's got the double heals. I don't know that we win this. Medica alone is, is a serious problem. Unless we somehow dodge that. The Medica is just dropping too big of bombs. I, I, I don't see how we possibly win. Plus, he's got triple heal. One, two, three with a good meat shield. Now, who's faster? Yeah, and the problem, if I was just a lot slower than him, if I was significantly slower than him, everybody I had was one hit point, that would be better for me than this current situation. Not one hit point, one speed. With me having a six speed, a five speed, a four speed, a five speed, I'm going to hit him and I'm going to hurt him, but then he's going to heal up and I'm not going to kill him and he's going to heal up. I'm the only... And then if I poison and afflict in the first round, that'd be huge. But the problem is he's just doing too much damage and he's got a second tank with a good amount of hit points. So the only way we possibly win is if I somehow fluke out and just go ahead and miss him. But I'm not even, you know what? I see now he's going to have five speed and I'm going to have four speed and therefore he's going to hit me. So no, we're hooped. I'd love to see an affliction for affliction and poison first round for my Dr. Blight. But regardless of whether we do, the, I got neither of them, first of all. Oh yeah, I do. I did forget about the force field. That's pretty clutch. And see, there's a poison and afflict. That's huge. But he's still got another tank right behind him. Now, I've got the Murd Hamp here, which is like seven hit points already. So kind of functionally was a tank, but no, see, he's just got too many hit points still. And he's got nine with a, a failed summoner is such an amazing secondary tank. If we had, if we had locked, if I'd brought a healer or if, yeah, if I'd brought a healer, I really could have maybe, maybe pulled that out because that was kind of a mistake, but ULA is such a strong opponent. Keep going. Poison blast. 20 million. See what I'm up against here, guys? 20 million. Tog the Explorer. I don't actually know Tog. This is when you run into an account that you don't even know and he has 20 million power, it lets you know the deep pockets, the significant number of deep pockets that are out there in Splinterland. Again, it's a home court advantage for me. So we've got Yoden banished. Kind of irrelevant because the blast damage is there. Fire is available with the high mana. So therefore, it's kind of cool that the blast is there for me because, yeah. Because that's going to be really pivotal. Therefore, I want to go fast. My fastest teams make most sense here. Hmm. But I also need to think about... I definitely need to think about not just speed, but immunity would be important. I don't think I have anybody with immunity. I do, but... My Tarsa is far lower of a see, one minute, 19 seconds, summoners, fire. This is one of the things, man. You got to occasionally throw a little DEC at it. We're going to quickly do that. Okay, I got I got 55 seconds. I'm going to wait one, two, three, four, five. Refresh. 
that that rental should come through i should have malric um i gotta i gotta work quick i gotta go f i'm going fire 37 seconds there he is malric and now we're gonna go melee only i want to get him out there i want to get him 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 yeah i don't want to go necessarily only that's that's a mistake um hmm Could be helpful this could be helpful that's a mistake ah uh, i got it i gotta do it i'm running out of time boom we'll see what whether that works or not hogs got an amazing deck i feel like i give myself a fighting chance with the immunity and the alric the malric uh, buff at the end there So this is the enemy's arena. He's banishing Llama, which is fine by me. Hmm. With 19 mana, I'm almost thinking like, how do I, who's my carry, right? Like I'm not thinking, do I have any tank heal? Do boom. Give this a shot. I mean, this is possibly helpful. More damage than this, but this has the armor protection, which could be really key. Dr. Blake could be super helpful. You know what? I think we got to go like this and just kind of like increase my damage output. I feel like I'm doing very little damage, but I also recognize that this is a low mana match and it's possible that this, this suffices. Okay. Conan. 7.8 million power. Hmm. Okay. That was a blast damage play, and I I didn't properly think about that. Okay, so we're gonna go dragon. Then we're gonna go. Forget now. White have this is kind of e. tempting, but I need to think about that. I got double slow. I feel like I'm doing a lot of damage. I mean, I am doing a lot of damage, but I'm also super, super weak. Like I have very, very few hit points. Tempted to put the chaos agent up front there and run that. But I feel like I just need to look at this team too. Cause, oh, no legendaries. Well, that settles that I think. Uh, so I definitely want my those guys. I think I I think I do want the agent. Okay. I either take Jinjuwala or I take like Jin Renova and go Glass Cannon.
Oh my goodness. I just ran out of time, so we have to do it. Even if I even if I don't love it, it is what it is. He's got the, the whole he's got the holy shield, so my thorns could be really helpful. Could be. He's doing he has two attacker melee attackers that are gonna focus fire my front, which is nice because my thorns are gonna trigger and damage and then take away some of that holy protection. Divine shield. Is a sneak attack with a poison. Maybe we dodge him because I got look. I got one speed, two speed, three speed manipulations over here. My my his attacker is gonna his sort of uh, opportunity monster should attack. Actually, he's gonna go creeping ooze. I thought he was gonna go agent. I don't know. I think we I think we win this unless he stuns me. If he stun if he stuns my my front tank. That's maybe irrelevant, actually. Yeah, I would get, I would have theoretically had another punch right here. So it, it ended up, the stun was significant. Maybe not the end of the world, but significant. And, oh, he could. One backfire there would have been gone a long way. The, the double stun, like he, he, the Thunderbird only shot twice, but he stunned both times. A few other things happened where my um, Dax Paragon shot second after my time mage or whatever. And if if they had rotated the other way, then that would have pro probably opened up. I could have changed things. Okay, so we got one win, two losses, and two undecideds. And these guys were beasts, so frankly, I'm not particularly confident. Who's banished? Okay. No mana match. Dragon. Slow goes first. Slow goes first. None of those are slow. Slow goes first. I mean, I need flyers that are slow. <laughs> flyers that are slow. I mean, I've got some flyers. I don't love this rule set at all. I think Alric, sorry, Malric, and maybe doing like, you know what I mean? There's, hmm. The problem is that Uraeus is just going to die the second round. Striker's three speed. I guess I could run with that. I got a repair, but it's going to die right away. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe that works. No, that's not gonna that's not gonna help. You know what? I, best I can do is hope that my poison and afflict are really pivotal. I don't love this team at all. But Dr. Blight could Prove pivotal. And my chaos agent has significant armor. He's got repair. That's all that matters. That's probably the end of it right there. Especially if he dodges me. Mind you, he's got, he's got more, much speed as me. I don't know. Maybe we get through. Maybe my sneak attacker does some damage here. If I can kill this guy first hand, first turn. Oh yeah, taunt. No, po I got an inflict, but no poison. No poison again, man. A poison would have gone so far. And the resurrect, it wouldn't have gone anywhere, actually. Nah. It's over. So this is by th this is way harder 
than your rank battles, guys. This is not this is not easy at all. This is this is literally the best in the game playing this game for you know right now for just cred. Like everybody wants to win because they want their, their guild to be the highest. Um, but but this is gonna be significant SPS rewards soon. And so um, pay attention, take this seriously. Get involved in a guild. If you need a spot, I guess reach out to our Discord and just make yourself present. Join the Discord. It's free to join the Discord. Make yourself, you know, available for conversation. Get to know the guys. Make yourself available for conversation. Get to know the guys. And then, um, yeah, maybe we can find a spot for you. Thanks, guys. Have an amazing day. God bless. Hello.